Good evening, folks, and welcome to this corner of the universe where the twinkle of the stars is matched only by the curiosity in our hearts. They say the woods are lovely, dark, and deep. But have you ever felt that they're whispering secrets to those who will listen? Tonight, we walk into the forest of the unknown, where the line between myth and reality blurs, where an elusive figure, the Sasquatch, stands tall, not just in legend, but perhaps with a message for us all. You can almost hear the rustle of leaves underfoot and the call of an owl in the distance as we set the stage for an age-old enigma. Imagine, if you will, an untouched wilderness where shadows play between the trees and ancient wisdom breathes. This is where stories of the Sasquatch have lived and grown, like the trees that have stood for centuries. It's a philosophical landscape as complex as the creature itself, filled with the echoes of questions that have been asked through the ages. Now, what if this creature, this Sasquatch, isn't just a figment of folklore, but a being with knowledge far beyond our understanding? What truths could such a sage offer us, truths we've been seeking since we first looked up at the stars and wondered about our place in the cosmos? This is the canvas of our contemplation tonight. An invitation has been extended from the realm of whispers and shadows, from a creature that has silently observed humanity for eons. Elder Camus, they call him, an ancient Sasquatch who has witnessed the turning of countless seasons. Through tales that stretch the bounds of our belief, he's said to impart wisdom that can reshape our relationship with nature, ourselves, and the very essence of reality. Let's take these tales not as literal transcripts, but as parables ripe with symbols that challenge our perception. Imagine a figure as old as the hills, standing with a knowing gaze, offering to share a narrative that bridges worlds and consciousnesses. Elder Camus speaks of the interconnectedness of life, a concept echoed by philosophers and scientists alike. He imparts tales of living in harmony with Mother Earth, a message that resonates with increasing urgency in our technological age. But let's delve deeper, allow these stories to unfurl and intertwine with our modern reality, revealing a tapestry rich with insight and forewarning. The history of humanity, my friends, is filled with tales of the forest and its denizens. The Sasquatch is but one of many, a figure that has danced through the oral traditions of Native Americans and taken countless forms in the folklore of every culture. But what is it about these stories that continue to captivate us? Turning back the pages of time, we find that these beings often come bearing messages, symbols of our primal connection to the natural world and a warning against straying too far from it. Echoing through the annals of history, the legends speak. The Cherokee told of Sul Kalu, the master of game, a giant who exemplified harmony with the environment. Fast forward to modern times, you'll find Chief Dan George, a Sleelwatooth Nation chief, who admonished us for losing touch with nature's rhythm. Their words, a bridge between epochs, carry the same weight and weave into the narrative Elder Camus brings forth. Ponder for a moment on the idea that these messengers, whether flesh and blood or ethereal spirits of the woods, serve as a mirror reflecting our collective consciousness. Philosophers like Thoreau retreated into nature to find deeper truths, while contemporary conservationists warn of a disconnection from our roots, which could spell our undoing. Ethics and morals, a cornerstone of this discourse, beg us to examine our stewardship of the earth. Let's consider a parable. If a Sasquatch, as an elder of the natural world, admonishes our wayward path, then isn't it a clarion call for introspection on how we treat our planet? What does it say about our ethical code if we can't hear the message in the rustling leaves or the ripple of a stream? Let's also consider our arts and literature, ever teeming with creatures of the wild, representations of our fears and aspirations. There's something profound about the Sasquatch's retreat into the forest. It carries the weight of a thousand stories, urging us to look beyond the concrete jungles and remember where we came from. Take, for instance, the artwork of Norval Morisot, 
an indigenous Canadian artist. His vibrant pieces often depict beings that bridge the natural world and spiritual realms, urging us to consider a broader spectrum of existence. The conversations today are just as they've always been, though the platforms have changed. The Sasquatch's elusive nature parallels our own search for meaning in a world crowned with technology, yet starved for genuine connection. Across social media, podcasts, and documentaries, people debate the very existence of such creatures and what their presence might mean in the grand narrative of humanity. The importance of such contemplation cannot be overstated. At this very moment, the balance of our ecosystem hangs by a thread. The messages that sages like Elder Camus might be trying to convey resonate with our need for a more sustainable path forward. The potential impact of these narratives stretches into a future where learning from the wisdom of the ancients could be critical to our survival. We've journeyed through the woods of thought together, considering not just the tales of Elder Camus, but the threads these stories pull in the fabric of our existence. A powerful, original statement has shown itself to us. The search for the Sasquatch mirrors our quest for understanding of the world, the divine, and ultimately, ourselves. It's a quest that asks us to remain perpetual students, open to the ancient wisdoms that thread through our modern lives. I want to thank you for walking with me through the thickets of this enthralling topic. Whether you take these stories as myth, metaphor, or a hidden truth, let them linger in your mind. Could the footprints of Sasquatch lead us not just through the forest, but towards a deeper connection with the natural world? What message would you hear if Elder Camus whispered to you in the quiet of the ancient woods? And so let us part tonight with a heartfelt adieu. Keep listening, keep questioning, and let the stories of old guide you to new insights. The forest is vast and the journey is long, but what a journey it is, full of marvels and mysteries waiting just beyond the grove. Until we meet again, keep that spark of curiosity alight and let it illuminate the path through the wilderness of our world. Good night.